Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Island Sim Pilot has released a video showing that updating your DLSS file can improve performance by about 20 to 40 percent depending on your setup. Huge shout out to Island Sim Pilot for posting the video and sharing the details with us. For the longer version and for a detailed explanation of DLSS and what this change does, I do recommend that you visit his channel and watch his video. In this video, I will simply be showing you how to complete the DLSS file swap without going into any details. I am happy to report that after completing this change, I have gained about 30% boost in FPS. Alright, let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is download the DLSS Swapper. To do this, point your browser to the link provided in the description section of the video. Next, we're going to click on the latest release. We're going to download DLSS Swapper version 1.0.2.0 installer.exe. Once you have downloaded the file, double click on the executable. Go ahead and install the software. Once you have completed the installation, you'll be prompted to launch now and finish the setup. Make sure this box is ticked. Once you launch DLSS Swapper, it will display all the games that support DLSS and will indicate the DLSS file version. In my case, I have already done the swap to the latest available file, which is 3.5.10.0. To get the file, we need to click here on the library. As you can see, there are a number of files that you can download. It might be useful to experiment with some of these files. For example, we can click here on 3.5 version 2. And now the file is being downloaded, as you can see. You, once you have downloaded the file, we can go back to the games. And now we can click on this file and select the file that we want to swap. For example, if I wanted to swap to 3.5.00, I would simply click on the file and then click on Swap. It will automatically swap the file for us. And this is pretty much it. Make sure that you download the most recent file, which is 3.5.10 at the time of making this video, and click on Swap. It will swap the file and it will display the new file version for you here. It might be a useful idea to experiment with some of the other files to see which one gives you the most performance. In my case, I just updated to the most recent one, which is the 3.5.10.0. That's it. You're ready to go. Fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator and enjoy the performance boost. Before we conclude this video, reference to my previous video on how to remove stutters and improve performance in Microsoft Flight Sim, please note that NVIDIA has changed the location of the DX cache. I will link the video as well as the location of the DX cache in the show notes below. If you have any questions as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.